from the highs of 2023 to the lows in the fall in 2024. Red Bull's fortunes have taken quite the U-turn in the past few months in particular. They lost their top spot to McLaren in the constructor standings and their marquee driver Max Verstappen is facing the heat from McLaren's Lando Norris in the Drivers' Championship. But these aren't the only problems troubling Red Bull. The latest blow is a big one because Verstappen is threatening to quit. No, he isn't making a move to another team. Instead, the Dutch driver is threatening to leave Formula One altogether. This after Verstappen was punished for swearing in the press race, pre-race press conference before the Singapore Grand Prix last week. Verstappen used the F word to, to describe the situation of his car. Following that, the Red Bull driver was asked to do a day's community service by the motorsport's governing body, the FIA. And an angry Verstappen took FIA's punishment to heart. After finishing second at the Singapore circuit, Verstappen refused to speak to journalists who were gathered there and instead held his own little press conference outside the confines of the FIA organised session, where he made his feelings about FIA quite clear. I mean, these kind of things definitely decide my future as well. When you can't be yourself, you have to deal with these kinds of silly things. Now I'm at a stage of my career that I don't want to be dealing with this all the time. It's really tiring. And it was evident by that statement that he's made that Verstappen challenged the FIA for the punishment that they imposed on him, making the Red Bull driver a hero on the internet. Don't get me wrong here, we're not promoting the cuss words or the use of foul language by sports personalities or anyone for that matter. It's obviously wrong to use any such language on a public platform. But here's the thing, instead of stipulating a fine on Verstappen, the FIA asked Verstappen to do community service, a punishment usually given by the judiciary for breaking a law in the country. The F1 governing body here is not trying to call out Verstappen for his mistake. Instead, they are trying to act like the moral police. In fact, when one looks at other sports, other sporting disciplines, players are usually fined for swearing in press conferences. It's there. This has been seen time and again uh, in the American Football League, NFL, Basketball League, NBA. In 2022 alone, NBA players were fined over $95,000 just for swearing in press conferences. In the same year, tennis player Nick Kyrgios was slapped with a fine for swearing and spitting during his second round win at the US Open. That's right, he was fined 11,000 US dollars for his unruly behaviour. Clearly, Kyrgios was way out of line and he paid the price for his act. Verstappen is saying that FIA could have followed the same here too, imposed a fine on him instead of targeting him on moral grounds. A reason that drivers, former and current, are united in backing Verstappen on. How many lifetime community services would Gunter Steiner have to serve for using the F-word? He was glorified for using the F-word. Netflix broadcast this worldwide, no problem. But then to suddenly change like that? Also backing Verstappen is Lewis Hamilton who said that the Red Bull driver should just avoid the community service. He in fact went ahead to say, had he been in Verstappen's shoes in this situation, Hamilton would not have complied. And Verstappen's anger isn't just tied to this incident. The FIA isn't planning to stop just here. Their motto is to ban the use of foul language, not just during press conferences, but also on the racing circuit we have to differentiate between our sport, motorsport, and rap music. We're not rappers, you know. They say the effort how many times per minute? We're not on that. That's them, and we are us. That's right, and this, of course, has seen a heavy backlash uh, from every driver, from Verstappen himself, who said, what are we, five-year-olds or six-year-olds, to Lewis Hamilton, who also lashed out against this. He, in fact, said those are the wrong choice of words 
and this is there's a racial element to this. They're not pleased by the FIA's schooling tactics. Hamilton saw racial stereotyping in there. Verstappen, though, was baffled by this sort of a treatment by the FIA. Again, not promoting the use of cuss words here, but the kind of intensity with which players play sport, they tend to get carried away many times. We've seen that with uh, across other sporting disciplines, like Indian cricketer Virat Kohli. Despite being known as the face of cricket, his on-field outbursts may not be the best for any budding athlete to learn off. But the aggression he brings to the sport is something that the cricket world enjoys. They revel in it. We have footballers who do the same. Even renowned managers like Pep Guardiola have been caught swearing on the sidelines. He even recently kicked the dugout bench during a game against Arsenal. Imagine not having that intensity on the pitch, in the field, wherever you are. Would sport still be as popular, as intense? Even in UFC, fighters are allowed to cuss, not just in the ring, but even in press conferences. It's, it's considered a highlight of UFC, adds to the drama. Who and shoot this man up. A little rat, a little weasel. I showed you my hands, no weapons. I don't know what this guy talking about. I don't understand what he's gonna do 6 October. He think whiskey gonna help him? That's what fans come for, that intensity, that rivalry, the contest. Clearly, other global sporting bodies understand that being the ethics enforcer isn't possibly right for the sport. Maybe FIA should try to comprehend this too. It's fine to act like a headmaster and maintain law and order, but these are adults with character. Sport devoid of that would be no fun.